the spectacular ascent of sleep celebrities from watching stars sleep to going to bed with Harry Styles. Harry Styles released a brand new song in July 2020. People naturally fell in love with it, but it wasn't a tour or record release. A bedtime story, that is. Styles' narrative, Dream With Me, was created as a part of a series for the Calm app for sleep and meditation. Calm claims that on the day of its launch, the app collapsed because so many users were attempting to listen to it. Since then, one of Calm's most well-liked bedtime stories is Dream With Me. Although the business hasn't provided specific numbers, when combined with another story, Wonder, the two have received more than 30 million listens. Matthew McConaughey read Wonder. People are falling asleep for reasons other than merely styles and McConaughey's soothing voices. Celebrity bedtime stories, in which well-known people read lulling tales aloud to the background of calming music or other background noise, have become increasingly popular in recent years. Additionally, the Calm series features narrations narrated by celebrities including Stephen Fry, Cillian Murphy, and Mary Berry. John Legend's sleep cast on Headspace and Audible's sleep sound with Jamie Dornan both debuted last year. A six-episode sleep aid podcast. Even Classic FM has gotten in on the party with Classical Dreams, where hosts like Alan Titchmarsh, Mylene Class, and Alexander Armstrong perform breathing exercises before reading you uninteresting stories set in locations like Salzburg, Vienna, and Venice. Additionally, some comedians are actively attempting to be soporific, which goes against the norm. Comedian Joe Pira adds, Hopefully there are some good jokes and people can relax into a state where they can fall asleep. In his podcast, Drifting Off with Joe Pira, he discusses topics like preparing soup or the origins of clock chimes as a calming soundtrack plays in the background. But achieving perfection can be more difficult than you might imagine. We got into difficulty a few months ago, says Pira, who has been producing sleep-related material ever since an early stand-up performance during which he attempted to induce audiences to fall asleep. I was referring to the bells on clock towers, and we wanted to employ this bell sound in the Czech Republic. Because we disturbed their ability to unwind, the crowd became a little irate with us. The fact that they were unhurried before the bell sounded is kind of good. The highest compliment Pira can receive for his podcast is that it assisted someone in drifting off to sleep. However, others also contact us to express that it helped them get through a difficult moment. Others have used it for completely other purposes, saying that it is inevitable that someone will claim that listening to the podcast improved their drug experience. You never know how people would use something you put out there, he says. It's simple to understand why celebrity sleep podcasts are popular. As Pira points out, it's hardly a novel concept to fall asleep while someone reads you a story. However, a new category of sleep-related media has evolved on platforms like Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok, sleep streaming. The results of content creators streaming themselves while they sleep on multiple platforms are unexpectedly profitable. Amaranth, one of the most well-known sleep streamers, recently claimed she could earn up to $15,000 from a single sleep stream. Mikkel Nielsen, Aka, Stanley Mav, is an additional sleep streamer. He claims that, even without accounting for any income from YouTube, the money he earns from his streams on Twitch is sufficient to pay his rent, utilities, and food expenses.